Our erroneous we are. What's up, guys? It's Boomer King the Crane here. Today, I'm going to be doing my spoiler free review of Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 1, Episode 11. Now, let's get into it. So, um, this episode is like kind of a, a special episode. Like, a different kind of Bad Batch episode. Um, this um, episode doesn't actually specifically focus on the Bad Batch. It actually focuses on some other characters. Um, and how, like, you know, the, the Empire, like, having won the war is, like, affecting them. Um, it specifically focuses on, um, a, uh, kind of royal family from the planet Ryloth. And, um, how, like... How, like, the, uh, Sith taking over, like, you know, everything and trying to take control of their planet, like, you know, is affecting them and, like, you know, this episode is also about, like, you know, how they're trying to, like, you know, secretly, like, you know, get rid of the Sith and, like, you know, protect their planet. And, um, it also kind of serves as a prequel for a, uh, well, a prequel and an origin story for a character from the uh, the show Star Wars Rebels, which um, I've never actually seen a full episode of. I've seen um, most of the, most of one Star Wars Rebels episode, and from what I saw of it, it was pretty good. Um, and so I I didn't really know if I I actually didn't really know if that show was canon or not, but since the Bad Batch is canon. And, like, you know, there's, like, this episode is, like, a direct tie-in with, like, um, Rebels. Rebels must be canon. That confirms it. Which is good. Um, like, it's, this serves as, like, a backstory for, like, one of the characters one of the main characters, well, actually two of the main characters, if you want to include Chopper, the robot droid, from the show Star Wars Rebels, which I, which again I think is great. Um, we do see a little bit of the Bad Batch in this episode. I don't know if I already said that, but uh, like. And when I say the Bad Batch, I'm referring to, like, you know, the, like, the, the main characters of this show, including Omega. We see a little bit of them. They're in this episode, but they're just not the main characters of this episode. Um, which is fine. I mean, you know, a lot of, sh a lot of times, like, you know, shows, a whole bunch of shows need to, like, you know, dedicate, like, certain episodes to, like, you know, other characters' points of view. Like, Rick and Morty has done it. Um, what other shows have done it? Legion has done it. Um, and countless other shows have done it. And it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with, like, you know, dedicating, like, you know, an episode or a few certain episodes to, like, you know, a side character or, like, you know, just a random character rather than like, you know, the usual main character or characters. Uh, I think that's necessary in a lot of cases, especially in this case. Um, Cause you know, like you wonder like how, how like, you know, the whole like, you know, empire taking over the galaxies, like, you know, affecting everybody else. I don't know about you, but I've wondered, I've wondered that couple of times before I saw this episode. And um, now, you know, that question is kind of answered. 
is, well, is answered, sort of. I mean, we don't, we don't really know, like, how it's affecting every single, every single planet or whatever, but we know how it's affecting, affecting, like, you know, most of the planets, and this, and Ryloth in particular. And, um, yeah, this was a perfect episode, in my opinion. It's another perfect episode of a perfect season of a perfect show. Um, was this episode as good as the last episode? Well, no, but it's still a perfect episode. It just wasn't as perfect as the previous episode. Um, it's, um, but it's still a perfect episode. Anyway, um... I really loved, like, you know, how they tied in Star Wars Rebels with this series in this episode. I thought that, that was really cool, and um, I really dug the backstory for, like, you know, two of the characters. Even though I haven't really seen much of the Star Wars Rebels show. Um, and I thought that, like, you know, a lot of the moments weren't very intense in a good way. And very gripping in a good way and very fun that this this episode was a very fun episode and a very interesting episode and a very unique episode of the bad batch um with some great voice acting um three-dimensional characters great writing perfect writing gripping moments um great animation perfect animation um and, you know, this episode just also, like, you know, continues to take this continued, like, you know, the Bad Batches, what the Bad Batch had, where they were, like, you know, taking the series in, like, a very, like, kind of a new direction with, like, you know, with, like, every episode. Because what I've noticed is every episode, um, they kind of, the Bad Batch kind of takes, like, the show kind of, like, you know, goes in, like, a new direction. Um, and in, in an interesting new direction, too. You're probably thinking, yeah, that's what a lot of shows do. Like, um, like, that's, that's... The definition of like an epis a mostly episodic show um but like guys this they actually like take it the show actually like you know take with its episodes you know takes like always seems to find a way to take the show in like a new and interest a new and interesting direction like more than a lot a lot of other shows do um which I think is great and perfect. Anyway, I'm going to give this episode a 100% out of 100%, which is the equivalent of an A+. Like, subscribe, join the notification squad, I will return.